Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and just a little bit of yellow. Not much yellow, because I want a very, very pale sky. Now we'll start right in here in the center and gently let it work out. A little more yellow, maybe down here too. Next, we'll tap the two inch brush through just a little tiny bit of red. Almost none, just enough to kind of change it up a little bit. You should just barely be able to see the sky getting darker. And let's put a little bit of that color around here too. Now we'll add just a little bit of the Prussian blue to that red mix we already had going. And we'll just fill in the rest of this sky at the top. Still gonna leave a little bit of the sky open for some clouds. Look at how that's not a pure blue because we had a little bit of yellow and red on that brush to begin with. Now with a clean two inch brush, let's go ahead and start blending this sky. I'm just going to use tiny, tiny circles just to melt these colors together. Start here in the yellow, work up to the red, clean the brush, and then go into the blue. Now that the brush is dirty with the blue, we don't want to come down into the light because that would ruin all that nice bright color we have on there. So be careful, be aware of what colors on your brush when you're blending and lightly across. Now I'll take a brush through just a little bit of red. Now that red was mixed up out of alizarin crimson and a little touch of the blue. I did that so it wasn't pure red, but it's pretty close. And we'll just begin dropping in these little clouds here. I'm using tiny, tiny circles just to drop in the basic outline of the cloud. And let's do something on this side too. There's a little bit, a little bit more of the blue on this side. It's starting to get cooler as it comes away from the sun over here. Now with a clean two inch brush, we can begin blending out the sky. Now I'm gonna be careful here. I don't want to lose all these nice variations in the sky. Now I did not throw these color variations in here at random. My light source is right, right in here somewhere. So I thought about that the whole time. The entire time I did my clouds, I was thinking about where that light was. Kept the lighter, pale, and bright colors there in the middle. And then as we come away, it got very dark and I added more of the blue. Now we'll load up a fan brush with some yellow and white, just a little bit of yellow, not much. And let's go ahead and start highlighting these little clouds. Now I'm touching with the corner of the brush. I'm not really sliding the brush around. I'm just letting it, letting it leave a little bit of paint out there on the edge of the cloud just enough to suggest where the light would hit. And that's about it. Not a big deal. There's some up here. We don't have to do it to the whole, to the whole sky. Just a little. Maybe over here. Back to the two inch brush. And we can very, very lightly blend out this highlight. I'm just I'm using tiny circles and just knocking out the bottom of the highlight, just enough to soften it. Now, before we started this painting, I put a little bit of masking tape across here, just so that we would have a very straight horizon line. With the Filbert brush, we can just map in our basic waves. Now, I put white medium on the top of the canvas, but down here at the bottom, it's totally dry. There's nothing on it at all. I did that so that my colors would stay thick and very pure. Now with just a little bit of orange paint on a one inch brush, we'll just rub in some of the water 
areas. Some of the areas that are kind of darker. We're gonna be adding some highlights to this. I still haven't put anything on the canvas. Still working on a dry canvas. So this paint is pretty thick, a little bit hard to move around, but it's worth it because we'll be able to layer more highlights and do more details later. Now with just a little bit of white paint on the knife, we can begin dropping in some of these highlights. Now it's important here to touch and then move along to the next area. Don't sit here and touch at the same spot each time because then you'll end up working it in with the, the background color too much. Now we can begin adding in the rest of this water. Just drop it right in with the one inch brush. This is a little bit of, of blue and red and black to make it darker. There, let those two mix together. They don't have to mix perfect and they probably won't because we don't have any medium under there. But just get it close enough. It's not a big deal right now. Now that the canvas is totally covered, we can continue painting in our little waves in the background. Now as they come forward, as they come closer here, they should, they should start getting a little bigger and have a little more of that dark in there. Little larger pieces of dark. That'll make the waves look bigger. Just tap them or rub them, whichever one is easier for you. Try them both. Sometimes it's nice to rub them in. Makes the back of them kind of soft. Just depends on what you want. Now with the filbert brush, we can rub in just a little bit of color. We don't need much. Just enough to suggest a little bit of a, a wave back in here. A wave with more detail. Now with some white paint on a fan brush, we can begin dropping in some detail here on this wave. Just a little, kind of pull around like that to, to get some splash. And you can also push up with that brush. If you wanna create foam, like the wave has already crashed and it's, it's curling and, and rolling around there. All right. Now we can begin making this wave here too. We'll just rub it right in with the filbert brush. This is a little bit of green and white and yellow. Now remember to make that eye of the wave very, very transparent. And then you can go into a little bit of the darker colors as you come out. With a clean two inch brush, we can come right in here to the eye and start blending it. I'm using only the top corner of the brush. And I'm doing those tiny, tiny circles just to make this very, very soft. Start here at the top and then work down to the dark area, just like we did on the sky. We don't want to ruin the light in the middle of the wave. With some white on the fan brush, we can drop in some of this rolling foam some of the splash of the wave. Let it curl right over. I suggest you reload after every pull. That way you have fresh paint. Because you'll pick up some of this dark, but that's all right. With the fan brush and just a little bit of black, we can tap in some, some of this shadow foam. Let it curl right over. With some white on the fan brush, we can drop in some highlights here. Just push up. And when you push up, you'll get that bright highlight right out on the edge. If you're not getting that highlight, then stop and thin the paint just a little bit. Don't keep pushing on here and hoping it's gonna get better because it, it won't. Just stop and thin it and then it'll slide right on for you. Very easy. Now I've changed back to the two inch brush and I'm gonna very, very lightly just blend away the bottom of this highlight. 
I'm being careful not to over blend here. Don't want to over blend, at least the top. We can blend away almost totally this bottom part, but I do want to save the top. Now in here, we'll just mix it up a little bit and then leave it alone. Now with the fan brush and just a little bit of light color, a little bit of blue and white mostly, we can add in some foam here. Just rub it right in with the corner of the brush, just like that. Not a big deal. Think about the way your wave is shaped as you drop these little foam patterns in. Now I've loaded up the knife with just a little bit of black. I think we need a few little island things or little peninsulas that stick right out here in the water. I think that would look very interesting. And I want to show you, it's never too late to add things that you want. Just drop them right in. Not a big deal. With just a little bit of brown on the knife, we can drop in some large little boulders here. Just rub them in with the knife. This is just the dark part. We're going to come back and add some highlights. We need the dark on here for the highlight to show up. With the fan brush, we can add in some of the final details. Kind of clean up the bottom of the rocks and maybe put a little bit more foam in if you want to. The last thing I want to do is add in just a couple of birds here. All right, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my instructional DVD for sale and also my website. And thanks for watching.